Hi guys, my name is Lezat. Welcome to my channel where I express my love for fashion and jewelry. If you share my passion, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like and bell buttons below to be notified each time I post a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. And just for context, guys, a little story behind why I'm filming this particular video is because I've been wanting a winter bag for so long. It's been ages, literally, since I got myself a new bag purposefully for winter and by winter bag I mean something dark colored spacious but I must say not every single bag in this video is going to be something spacious but uh, the colors I would say they are more for winter than for summer there are so many beautiful bags that I don't know which one to choose and if I buy something I certainly want it to be an investment piece uh, meaning it's classy and of the highest quality possible for the given budget of course so I will be sharing my thoughts about each of these bags and hope Hopefully you'll help me choose one, leave, leave your comments down below in the comment section below or maybe you know of a bag that I did mention in this video, something that you'll think is the best winter bag in your opinion, so please don't hesitate to share uh, your thoughts in the comments section down below. So bag number one is a Bottega Veneta bag. When it comes to Bottega Veneta bags, I think what I like the most about them is not particularly a style because I think that all of the styles, all of the bags by Bottega are absolutely amazing they're gorgeous in this season I love the color which is called fondant it's this luscious chocolate color so the bag I like the most by Bottega is a Jody bag but not the mini style that you've seen on the internet many times but it's a size bigger which is called a teen size so the teen is in between mini and the small sizes I think that it's a perfect size sort of it's not too big obviously I would want something spacious to sort of shove every winter accessory I have when I take them off and I'm indoors somewhere. I love the teen size so much. I think it's so cute. It is more practical than the small Jody. Now the second bag I think is sort of the similar size as the teen Jody. It is the bag by The Row. It's called Everyday. I've been in love with this bag for the longest time. I think that it's so gorgeous. I love how battery and soft the leather is and I love the design of these bags. The quality is there. I love the size of it. I love that it's very sleek and minimalistic. Yet I think that it is, it's not again as the uh, teen Jody, I would say that it's not the most spacious bag but it could fit a decent amount of stuff inside uh, that's needed for every day. Bag number three is an Evelyn bag in size 29 by Hermes and this one I'd probably get in color black but I would wear it differently than it's usually worn as a crossbody or a bag on a uh, long shoulder strap so I would take probably another strap uh, I don't think if Hermes has a short version of the strap sold separately so let me know if you know I would take a shorter bag probably in the same width as the original bag so I've seen like ages ago I've seen this video on YouTube I can't remember the channel name so I can't link it here under the video but there was a lady she was showing the way how to wear her Hermes bag so she took a Fendi strap a beautiful thick Fendi strap and attached to her Evelyn and it looked absolutely marvelous I loved how it looked the bag sang differently so that would be uh, certainly a way for me to wear this bag and also I actually prefer the look of this bag when it's not stuffed I don't like it as you know the leather is very soft and it has no lining inside so when you wear it I don't like things being sort of can't see the silhouette of the things outside the bag and I would probably carry this bag with the organizer I would purchase a separate organizer so for my picketing I ordered a Samorga organizer and I love how it sort of helps to keep the bag organized as well as preserve its original shape so that's the way to go for me with the Hermes Evelyn bag. Bag number four I must admit is not the most popular by me in this list but I still love it nevertheless so it is is a bag by uh, Saint Laurent. I love it. I love the shape of it. I love the size of it. It's called Bia. So the closure of this bag is similar to a very popular, uh, another popular style by YSL called 9 to 5, I think, but it's in French. So the meaning is 9 to 5. I'll include the photo of this bag in this video. So the closure is exactly the same. I love the logo YSL at the front. And another thing I love about this bag is its wide straps. I think that they won't be digging into my shoulder because the bag is spacious. Potentially it could get very heavy 
you with all the things inside so with the back of this size i think white straps are in necessity a must to wear the bag comfortably on the shoulder now bag number five is a bag by Louis Vuitton. So the bag in question is called Sac Sport. I love it in the color black. It's in the signature embossed uh, Louis Vuitton leather. This leather is actually very durable. I have a wallet made of the same material and I still have it. It's very bulky. I don't carry it now, but I used to previously. In the past, I carried it every day and it's still in a pristine condition. So as it says on the website of Louis Vuitton, this bag, the inspiration for this bag actually came from the Louis Vuitton archives. It has sort of a vintage look and I love that it's not overwhelmed by different details. So there are several, not several, like two or three more similar bags to this style, but I, I prefer this one much more to the other ones because it's not, as I said, it's not overwhelmed by straps and I don't know, details and locks. It's quite simple. And the last but not least, it's a bonus bag, guys. It's not something for every day, but I had to include this in this video because the bag is so, so stunning. It's a bag by Olympia Letan. This particular style is in collaboration with the Victorian Albert Museum. As you know, it's one of the most iconic museums in London. I love this bag it's so gorgeous it had it, it's a clutch bag in the shape of a book i've been admiring olympia Letan bags for ages ever since they appeared i believe in 2009 or 2008 so I'm, I'm not quite sure every piece is a piece of art truly and the collection the embroidery on the front of the bag i don't know the array is so vast that everyone with any interest could choose a bag and i think that olympia Letan bags they make a very nice gift especially for Christmas guys there is a beautiful selection of Christmas themed bags they look so festive so gorgeous that was a bonus bag guys I would wear this bag for special occasions in winter so that's why I included it uh, in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please subscribe to my channel like this video it would help a lot to grow my channel and I hope to see you next time guys bye